Hello, what's up you guys, all here, and first things first, I just wanted to thank you all. We recently hit a thousand subscribers, and I think it's so cool that we've managed to build a community centered around chemistry and chem major and all the different paths we take, so thank you all for that. And now let's get into the video. Today I wanted to talk about my favorite and my least favorite things about the chemistry major, because although I love chemistry and I love the chemistry major, there are a couple of downsides to it. I'm gonna first go over three of my least favorite things about the chemistry major, and then towards the end of the video, so we can end on a positive note, I'm gonna talk about my three favorite things about it. And so with that, let's hop right into it. Now, first things first with my uh, least favorite parts of the chemistry major, and these are in no particular order, but the first one is that chemistry is really, really hard, and I'm sure a lot of you have figured this out by now. Chemistry is difficult, and not just in a singular way, because all the different fields and subfields of chemistry, there are so many different types of problem solving you have to be good at to get through the chemistry major. You have to be able to do the mathematical stuff and algebra and calculus, but you also have to do a lot of spatial and a lot more picture-based stuff of organic chemistry and even some of inorganic chemistry. And there's a lot of different types of this puzzle and problem solving that goes into doing the chemistry major, which makes it an extremely difficult major. Along that, there's a lot of complicated theory and stuff that you need to know to be able to apply to all these problems. So chemistry is just a very difficult major. And this sort of goes into my next point, and it kind of leaves a sour taste in a lot of people's mouth, is that chemistry is a really difficult major, but the payoff might not always be there, because my second least favorite thing about the chemistry major is the job market when you're just getting out of your bachelor's degree. Now, if you go to grad school for chemistry, there are a whole ton of great jobs, and even if you have a bachelor's with a lot of experience, you can get pretty well-paying jobs, and a lot of people do. But when you are first out of college for entry-level jobs, it can be really hard to get a job, and it can get be really hard to get a job that's like, a fun or good job outside of quality control. A lot of the initial starting out jobs for chemistry majors and even like bio majors and other hard sciences are super super basic and they don't pay super well. So when you're in those first couple of years out of college you're not really going to see any payoff and so you really need to love chemistry because if you're in it just for the money, there's a lot better majors. It's not like other areas of STEM, like computer science and all, where you can get your bachelor's degree and people will be throwing six-figure offers at you. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you love chemistry, I say go ahead and do it. You can build a great career out of a chemistry major with just a bachelor's. Plenty of people have. You just might take a few years of experience to get that point in your career, and I know I'm speaking some from, from some first-hand experience because I'm currently in the process of applying for my first jobs as I'm graduating from my chemistry major, which is a lot. Now, the third and last least favorite thing about the chemistry major I want to mention is a bit more abstract, and it's that people aren't really sure what you do. Everyone's taken their high school chemistry classes and all, and they sort of know you might mix some chemicals sometimes, but past that, the general public's chemistry education is really, really low, and that's because chemistry is really hard to get a grasp of, and a lot of people had bad experiences with chemistry in high school, so they sort of just pushed that out of their mind. And people have no clue how many different subfields of chemistry there are, or what you do in any of them. People don't know that you can be a chemist and never mix chemicals in the lab because you're doing all this fancy PCHEM and shooting lasers at stuff, stuff like that. But what most people I think think of as what chemists do is much more towards the organic chemistry of synthesizing new molecules and all. But people really don't have an understanding. And sometimes there's something really cool in chemistry you want to tell people at, about and they just it doesn't click with them, and you get the whole sort of 
oh, I could never do that. Or you tell someone you're a chemistry major and they immediately respond, I'm sorry, or why would you do that to yourself? Despite how fun chemistry can be and so much of the cool stuff you can make, people just have a massive aversion to it. And I do think it's sort of because there's really bad lower level chemistry education and you don't get to hear about a lot of the cool stuff until you're really deep in the chemistry major. Now to move on to my absolute favorite things about the chemistry major, and there might be some I've missed along this video about least favorite or favorite things, so be sure to comment down below what your least favorite and favorite things about the chemistry major are. Um, I might even agree with some of them and just have forgotten to include them in the list. And the first one is chemistry incorporates all the sciences. I for one love all aspects of science. I love bio and physics and all of them. So Picking a science when I was first picking my major that would let me do all of those things was important and that's sort of why I settled on chemistry because in chemistry you have the fields of biochemistry where you're learning about like the chemistry of biological systems and it has a very strong bio bent to it and even organic chemistry when you're doing drug synthesis stuff has some very biological based applications and works really closely with it. On the whole other side, there is PCHEM, where if you want to get into quantum mechanics and physics and all those really cool things, you can do that and be deep into PCHEM and really on the physics side. And in the middle, you have stuff like inorganic chemistry, which I think is very much classic chemistry with cool, colorful liquid stuff that catches the air on fire. You know, awesome stuff. But you get all this whole wide breadth of science and I absolutely love that I get to dabble in every single science by being a chemistry major and that's just one of the totally awesome aspects of to it of it another thing is if you're going into grad school after a chemistry major being a chem major allows you to go into grad school for so many different things if you want to go more into the physical chemistry side you can go to grad school so for more quantum mech physics based stuff or more bio stuff and biochemistry or engineering and material science stuff like that and so it just gives you so many different options of what you can do with it my second favorite thing about the chemistry major is it's really cool to just know how the world works or know that you can just make lots of cool different compounds out of random everyday things. And some people will ask you lots of questions of like, oh, how does this work? And you will know the answer chemically and fundamentally how a lot of stuff in your everyday life works. And that's really, really cool. And it's really cool to be able to just look at the world and see it through that lens or you know be in a home depot aisle and be like oh i've used this stuff in lab i know how to make these products they're selling on the shelves or how many other certain things works and i think this is kind of applies to a lot of sciences but especially in chemistry because it's so universal you really get these glimpses of just how the whole world works and how the stuff we use every day and the stuff that most people never think to figure out how it works, works. And I think knowing how this all fits together is totally awesome and a great aspect of the chemistry major. And my last favorite thing about the chemistry major, which seem, may seem a bit weird because it's similar to one of my least favorite things, is that the chemistry major is challenging. I honestly think in 99% of other majors, I would be kind of bored. And I really just like how intense the chemistry major can be and how much it's pushed me to grow as a person and in my academic life. And it's just really awesome to have that pressure because I don't want to kind of knock on a lot of other majors, but I've taken a lot of classes throughout a lot of different majors and chemistry classes just really are some of the most challenging classes you can take. And it's really good to help you grow and learn new ways to think. And because chemistry requires so many different types of problem solving, it's not just one type of thing. It's not just math. It's not just spatial reasoning or theory and all that. You can learn all these different ways to think through problems. And it's really, really awesome. And the challenge is great. So if you like a challenge, I can totally recommend the chemistry major. And I, for one, am a bit competitive and do like a challenge, so that is kind of a fun aspect for me. 
But again, be sure to comment down below if you have your own least favorite or favorite things about the chemistry major. Uh, thank you for a thousand subscribers. I can't uh, appreciate. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that enough. And with that, I will see you guys next time.